Hey everybody, welcome to Fortnightly News, the show where every two weeks I talk about stuff that's going on in the world and try not to die. A hundred people are dropped on an island, only one can win, and it probably won't be us, but we're gonna try anyway. So, I've got a little hamster, as you can see, flying down with me. He's real cute, his name is Hemiris. We're gonna go land out here in Paradise Palms, because it is usually where I am the safest. And then we're gonna try to hide while I talk about stuff that's happening. All right, we have landed, and I'm just gonna try to collect some stuff. In the meantime, I'm gonna play a video up here, somewhere on screen, of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez dancing, because it has been the highlight of my week. If you didn't see it, um, some like conservative website leaked uh, a video of uh, of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez dancing, and it looks like she was like in school and doing like a project where they danced to stuff from The Breakfast Club, is what Fiona has told me it's from. And it's honestly really cool. <laughs> and it's just so funny that conservatives thought it would be like an actual scandal. Like that people would be upset that she danced in like a goofy fun way. It's just wild how out of touch with reality they are that they think like politicians need to be these grouchy old men who've like never had fun in their, in their lives. Like it's really nice to have a politician who's actually a human being and like dances and has fun and enjoys life. And then she like clapped back at them by putting out this little video of her like right before going into her office and she like did a little dance and she's like, Can't wait until they find out that congresswomen dance too. She's honestly so great. And it's so funny watching like conservative media just go wild trying to like discredit her and all that. Um, on a related note, Isabel, the character from Animal Crossing who just got into Smash Ultimate recently, uh, I saw a video of her dancing to this song and I'm gonna play it for a second with the audio on somewhere on screen. Is that not the cutest and the funniest thing you've ever seen? I love Isabel so much. I also love Isabel dancing to scary music. I don't know what, what brand genre of music it is. I called it screamo music and Fiona told me it was not screamo music. So I've learned not to call it that, but it's so precious. And honestly, it's me when Fiona plays like anything slightly emo or like rock. I'm just like, Fiona is way more into that kind of music than I am. We're so real. Flying. Oh my god, look at my little hamster. He does a little hop in his wheel as we go. Oh my god, he's so cute. And Into the Spider-Verse came out, which is such a good movie. I love the animation. It was like so creative and fun and just like, just such a good movie. And people have been doing like amazing fan art of it that I've really been liking. And so I'm gonna show one on the screen up here and I'm gonna credit their Twitter and link it down in the description. You should go check them out. But I'm just living from all the great art that I'm seeing from Into the Spider-Verse. And if you have not seen that movie, you gotta go see it. It's so good. But I think I'm just a sucker for superhero movies and then especially Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man is just a great superhero. Oh, look at my hamster rolling around. Oh, it's so cute. I'm just distracted by my hamster right now, honestly. All right, I've got some balloons that I might be able to use to escape people while I'm trying to run away because this is gonna be a, a game of running away, I think. Oh, and then I, I saw this tweet this week of someone's grandma who played New Leaf, like Animal Crossing every day for four years. And the person posted uh, her like log and it showed that like, I think she played like an hour and a half every day and would just go around and like hang out with the villagers and like do all the little daily tasks and stuff. And it's just so pure. I love games that are like that, that are just chill and people just use them to like relax or whatever. And I also love that it just blows open the stereotype that gamers are all like young people who want like blood and gore and stuff. Because so many older folks play, they just play games usually that are more chill. Like so many people play Pokemon Go. And those are like awesome, great games. Like I love Animal Crossing and Pokemon Go and they have a wider demographic. Like they should get more credit than they do. All right, where can I hide? I should find a bush. I think it's bush time. A bush would be great for hiding right about now. Where for art thou bush? Look at my hamster, oh, it's so cute. Okay, a bush on a hill? Is that practical? This is a bad bush, bad, bad bush. Oh, hurt myself a little bit coming down from the hill. That's my bad. All right, Hammy, we're in the bush. I probably shouldn't be wearing like bright red. I probably should have worn something like green. <laughs> Crap. Oh, that is so far. All right, my plan is to balloon all the way over there. Wish me luck. Um, speaking of games and stuff, there was a Twitch streamer who like on stream, his wife interrupted him, I think. Um, and he like freaked out and like attacked her like while still streaming. Like, I don't think it was actually streamed, but it was like just off camera and you could hear his like kids screaming and stuff. And you could hear the sound of him hitting her. 
and like holy fuck that is so bad and then i actually saw like articles about it and people defending him which was very weird like i feel like if there's going to be some line for like human decency it should at least be like don't hit your wife on stream but of course gamers were out there defending him but and then um twitch banned him but then he came back like a little while later and everyone got mad at twitch again and then he got banned again and i'm like i mean it's good that he's off the platform now but like really why did they even let him come back at all oh crap is there someone in there gonna fly away from my problems maybe i could stay in a plane maybe I could just fly around in a plane no 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 too too conspicuous don't want to draw attention to myself uh, and then there was a contestant on The Bachelor US who's faking an Australian accent. And it's so funny because she walks up to the guy using her like fake Australian accent, which I cannot do right now. Um, hers I've heard from Australians was not that good. Uh, although it started off okay. Oh, the person just landed over there. Oh no, there's there's a lot of trees, but there's no, there's no bushes. Oh, there's a good bush right here. Oh, but we're not in the circle yet. Maybe I can get up in the trees. Nice. I'll just hang out in the trees. Um, but yeah, then he asks where she's from because of the accent. And she says, the accent is from Australia. <laughs> like, what a way to skirt that question. Oh man, I hear so many people. Please don't shoot me. No! Law, they died. They fell off the tree and died. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even get a kill. They just fell out of the tree. God damn it. I'm soaring, flying. Wow, High School Musical is really in my head today. But yeah, that's just great. I just don't know how she's going to get through The Bachelor like that. Like, at what point is she going to tell him that her accent is faked? All right, we got a few more things to get through. There's only nine other players left. Um, So Trump shut down the government over the border wall, which... Fuck you, Trump. Like, come on. And right, I'm going to go hide right in here. It's just wild his ability to like deny reality and to blame Democrats and to just like be fully willing to destroy everything to get his racist little border wall. Oh dang, we're out of the circle again. So fuck that, fuck the wall. I really hope the new Congress that's coming in can do something about it without funding that racist ass border wall. Um, and then Rashida Tlaib, one of the women elected to Congress this year, she made a speech and she said that we should impeach that motherfucker talking about Trump, and which is great by itself. But then all of the conservatives being like, ugh, civility, why do you have to be so mean? Can't you be nicer? Even Trump, who's the one who's like said, grab them by the pussy. He's like said motherfucker. He's called the, the NFL players who are kneeling sons of bitches. Like he swears so much. And the conservative media is always like, yeah, it's Trump, he's real. But then as soon as a Muslim woman does it, it's like, where's the civility? Why can't she be nicer? Okay, we gotta start making our way this way. Hopefully no one sees me living amongst the trees. I am just a female Tarzan in a cat suit with a hamster. Nothing to see here. Maybe I can, I can nestle in right here. Nice. I think this is a decent spot. There's a new gaming console uh, that I heard about called the Madbox. And I saw the design renders of it that I'll put up here somewhere. And it's so weird looking. But more than that, the people were like, who are making it are hyping it up so much. They're like, it'll be a competitor to PlayStation and Xbox and stuff, which is a huge claim to make. Cause those are like very entrenched gaming consoles with tons of developers and stuff and games. And then they're like, yeah, it won't come out for three years. And I'm like, okay, good luck keeping hype going for three years. There's a lot of companies that come out, talk really big and then just kind of like, Fum. So we don't have a lot of hope for the mad box. I mean, it would be cool if it went somewhere. Oh God, someone's walking by, uh, but I have my doubts. And then, so I didn't watch a bird box on Netflix, but apparently there's been a bird box challenge going around where people have been like blindfolding themselves and then trying to go about their day and then getting injured doing it. And so Netflix had to be like, people stop doing the bird box challenge. And it's just wild that Netflix even has to tell people to do that. Like don't go out injuring yourself for some silly challenge. And also it all seems, pretty insulting to blind people to be like oh my god i can't go out anywhere do anything whoa shit fuck run run away i'm getting shot at let me down let me go let me run away from my problems imagine all right i'm gonna go hide in this basement i hear people 
Um, yeah, so don't do the bird box challenge. I'm going to link a Twitter thread down below that has some good alternatives. And also, Nintendo said that there's not going to be any Bowsette, and that's my last piece of thing. It's just really sad. Bowsette's great. I've been loving all the fan art, and it's sad that Bowsette will never be canon. Also, look at my hamster. He's so ready to help. Okay, but now I'm stressed and I have to pay attention. I cannot believe I'm still alive. Look at my hamster's little face. He's so ready to help. Big old tough hamster. Okay, I just heard the person run away. Alright, I just need to hang out up here and never see anyone again. Stay away from me. Alright, I hurt myself a little bit, but we're okay. Just gotta hang out here. They can all kill each other. Oh my god, I got a headshot! I got a headshot from back here! Oh my god. There's two other people left though. Oh, and they're both over there! No! They got me! <laughs> I was so close! Yeah, you have a guitar, you're very cool. Alright everyone, thanks for joining me for this episode of Fortnightly News, and I will see you next time!